Hello. I'm out doing some exercise. And this last season, I put on a couple extra pounds, so I'm like, I need to get back out here <laughs> and start uh, getting back in shape. Um, so I'm doing a walk right now with you guys. Um, and I want to share something that's on my heart today. Um, it's Philippians 121. To live is for Christ and to die is to gain. Okay. Um, and there's so much I can unfold on just this little, ah, oh, it's so cool. And so, and it says too, I'm going to go on that scripture. When you seek me with all your heart, you'll find me. Okay. And so, and seeking these scriptures to actually true, know the true meaning and actually going through these trials in my life. And for me in my journey and to becoming like Christ as I went into faith um, when I lost my mom in 2010, not knowing where this is leading me, right? I stepped in and walked in faith in a relationship with Christ, you know? Anyways, um, so I was baptized a couple of times. I was very led spiritually to be baptized to my spirit soul fully awakened. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> And so three times, I believe, unless I was a child, I was baptized, okay? Because he really, really wanted me, it's my spirit to come alive. And it is, it has. And so um, I want to talk about um, that scripture and what it looks like and, um, and through my journey and where he has me right now. And uh, it's just so powerful, that one little scripture. And it is just unbelievable, you guys. And... Um, so I just want to talk about what it looks like to die to our flesh so Christ could come alive through your spirit because that's what he's given us, that spirit, right? You get baptized, you get a spirit, but it's not been awakened until you start killing your flesh, okay? And you're like, die? Like some one time he's like, he spoke to me and he was like, your brother's going to die. And I'm like, what the heck? Oh my God, oh my God. You know what I mean? Like, and then I was like, oh, He's dying to his flesh and coming alive in spirit. Then I started seeing him talk about the, the not true spirit, just like Jesus. You know what I mean? And I was like, oh my gosh. These are the prayers I answered. I wanted my brothers to be part of my ministry and stuff like that. So they had to die to themselves so they could, Christ could come alive. Anyways, and so I was just like tripping. I was like, what? And he's, he's talking about their flesh. Like he's killing their flesh and Christ is coming alive with them and they're transforming. I mean, I remember my brother takes me out, you know, before I used to spoil them and do everything and help them, you know, along the journey before they were really saved and you know what I mean and stuff or oh, they were saved called they just you know were still living in the, the world and stuff anyway so now the tables turn they just treat me out they love me they you know what I mean like and oh, I just see God you know working in their life you know what I mean and um getting stronger and so anyways I just want to share um as I'm struggling and walking <laughs> getting back in shape um to die, what does it look like uh, per pertaining, whatever, the, apply it to your life as it fits. Again, I'm orchestrating this, learning how to do this, you know, and my goal is to get this started, you know, and my next step in this channel and just speaking about this journey to becoming the Christ in my life that he's led me down and giving this information and sharing it with you guys and um, those that are looking for change and, and maybe it's already happening in your life and you're just looking, you know, for guidance and stuff. But um, I just want to share like these things in the world, like, you know, even as Christians like that, a lot of people's our hearts are far from God. Okay. Um, and so what he's talking about is like, we go through these, not saying that it's working out, but it's eventually um, changing, you know? And so to have this fulfillment, you know what I mean? Like, um, and purpose in your life is dying to yourself. So maybe you're going after this degree, this, this, this thing, you know, Pacific thing and you're living, but it's not giving you that fulfillment you need, that, the, the, the actual purpose that he's calling you for, you know, and it could be a, a lot of different things, you know, uh, from our flesh, from sexual sin that we are not living in, you know, um, you know, the worldly version of one night stands and, um, or even Christians, you know, have sex and, you know, and there's relationships and stuff like that. And, um, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I call myself a believer, you know what I mean? I'm a child of God, you know, and some of that's come from this. Okay. I, I broken off these chains. Okay. And he, he promises to open the floodgates as we are obedient in him and who he's called us to be. And so 
through my testimony and him breaking all these chains in my life and cycles, he's taught me what it is to die and to get into, so my spirit comes alive. So his spirit of him inside of us comes alive, is awakened, and we're actually starting to live in purpose. You know what I mean? And, and not our own desires or, you know what I mean? Like the world version of ministry and, you know what I mean? Like, and so, but God's desires inside you that fulfill you, you know? And like for me, I've learned early on, I'm very blessed, you know? Whether, you know, you see in those early days, I didn't know, I went through a lot, you know? And I didn't think, you know what I mean? And how blessed I was until where I'm at now. And I see back like, wow, I just knew my purpose back then. And just going out in the world and as I started this relationship with him, and dying for the things, the, the, the way the world did it and being different, that was very different. I'm very different, you know, and I'm called chosen, you know, he's chosen me and for a higher calling, you know what I mean? Like, and so that's so why I was always hard on myself. I got to do this. I got to do this better. I got to do this. I got to, you know, I got to try harder. I, you know what I mean? Like it, it's on your life and stuff. And so anyways, but as I was walking in this journey, whoo, you guys, man, exercise, <laughs> but, um, Anyways, I was learning how to die to myself, you know, desires uh, of this world, you know what I mean? Like you're going and chasing after money, you're chasing after these things and this house, let me get a bigger house, let me get a, oh, let me get this new phone next year, oh, no, I, now I'm going to get the newer phone, you know what I mean? Those are filling your flesh. Those are just a little example, okay? There's so many different ways and things and that we are feeding, consistently feeding the flesh of the world, but it's not giving us no purpose. And that's why you see a lot of people... Mental health or there's no purpose, no desire. A lot of times the enemy attacks by suicide, like, or, oh, uh, depression, all this stuff, right? Because we're, we're lacking that purpose. We're lacking, we're filling our fleshly needs, but we're not filling our spiritual, uh, uh, our spiritual needs. You know what I mean? Like we're feeding our flesh, but why we're not feeding that spirit that God's called us to, be, to feed inside, that seed, right? So, so he, it could grow into that fulfillment and the power that he wants you to have and to know who you are in Christ, right? But you can you keep feeding the wrong, your flesh and all those needs, but it's not giving you the eternal desires. It's not giving you the passion. It's not giving you the fulfillment you need and you, you're, you're uh, called according to in life. You know what I mean? Well, God sent you down here and, and called you accordingly, you know? And, and so that's where we lack all that emotional depression, the anger, all the stuff, because we're not feeding the spirit with the right stuff. We're not, you know, dying to our flesh, and awakening through our spirit so Christ could really speak to us in our calling and, and who he's called us to be and um, to go in life and just feel that. And so anyway, so I have a, a woman that I picked up. I did lift. He just sh recently shut the door. So, but I did lift and I would reach more people. Okay. So as he would lead, right. So I'd get out and go and he, I'd pray before I go and I was like, oh, leave me who people that need to spiritually be spoken to and stuff. And so um, this one lady that I had, she's so cute. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, guy. This little baby, he's so cute. This one person that I had came in my car and she was a Christian. And she's like, you're a Christian? Like she asked, you know, she just felt the spirit, okay? Again, you, as you grow, as you feed the spirit, you people know, you know what I mean? I walk in rooms, I go have conversations. God's spirit involves, and as you feed that seed in the spiritual, when you're feeding your spiritual seed, it's growing. Because I'm, and since the beginning, and to knowing where I'm at now, is I have confidence in my identity in Christ. I have full confidence on myself and confidence in Christ and who I am inside. So it's like, oh, I'm going out here, come and do this, right? Because I have the confidence that God's gonna see me through it. Or he's gonna open that door, He's gonna do this, right? I have confidence and who I am through Christ, okay? It's independence in, conf in Christ, okay? And so, whew. anyway, so this girl came in my car and you know, I was listening to my worship music. I was, that day I was like, I'm fire. I was like, all right, Lord, I wanna feed some people's souls today. You know, I wanna feed their flesh, I wanna feed their spirit, you know? I go on this world and I feed people's spirit. I don't feed their flesh, I feed, they speak truth and I, speak, I feed their spirit, okay? And, and their souls, you know what I mean? Because that's what needs to be fed. A lot of people are hungering for that in this world right now. And so, anyways, I just started this conversation. Oh, and then I opened up, somehow opened up to my testimony. And then the Lord just, Again, no longer I live, but Christ lived, took over, you know, he takes over and you start speaking and you're like, oh my God, what the heck, who am I? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this powerful word, just the way everything, you know what I mean? Like it's because I died, I continue dying to my, myself and flesh and God provides the world he needs you need, of course, to live and be in this world. Of course, we're just not, we're in it, we're not of it, you know? 
that's why I stand out. I'm born to stand out and not call the blend in. And another thing too, before I go into that, is that you're unique and God's called you, right? You have uniqueness and you're just, you're trying to fit in and you're, you're avoiding that uniqueness in you and you're trying to hide it. You know, how are you going to be a leader? God called you to be that that leader in you, right? But you have to let that uniqueness, that's, that's what he, he made you unique for that purpose, right? Because you're different and you stand out and you got to own that. You know what I mean? You start feeding that seed, right? Of whatever uniqueness is in your life, start feeding that seed and growing it, okay? And then you're, you're going to learn how to walk in the confidence in that person, you know, whether you're in the world or believer, not believer, Christian, whatever, but you're going to feed that seed of uniqueness, okay? And then you're going to overpower because that's what the enemy, he wants you to make you feel shameful who God created to be and that uniqueness or whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like, um, and so you can hide it, right? When that's actually the one that's going to bless, that's, that uniqueness is where it's going to take you to the blessings and it's going to take you to open doors, you know what I mean? But if we try to hide it to blend in with the world, you know, we're not called to blend in, you know what I mean? Like we're called to stand out and be be everything he's called us to be in and as you take this step of faith and you start feeding it it's gonna get build and build and build and build and you're gonna just be full blown people are gonna be like who is this person you transformed and blah 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 and like right because you gotta keep feeding that you gotta keep feeding it with the right things you know what I mean and so anyways and I just don't don't feel you know what I mean like you're the one that's the outcast and that's anyone, anyone wants to think. But you're actually the one with a gift. You're the one with the power to change, to be called higher, right? Because you have that uniqueness. You're not blending in like the rest. You know what I mean? And so embrace that, you know? Embrace that, okay? Don't feel like you're the one that's oddball standing out. I see that a lot, you know what I mean? And you are the uniqueness, you know what I mean? Like, and you need to embrace that so the world could see that, you know what I mean? And so... And that's where your blessings is, you know, being able to embrace that who called you, called you to be is going to lead you to a lot of open doors. Okay, trust me, I know. And so anyway, so I wanted to show that. But anyways, this girl that got in my car and, you know, and then I started, the Lord took over my spirit and started speaking. Okay. And this girl's like, whoa. And so, and she was like, I just been really sleeping. I haven't, I haven't, you just woke me up, you know, and, and she's in the church and stuff like that going back and forth, just grew in this ministry. And so she's like, I never been awoke. I just go here and I do this and I feel so no fulfillment in it, you know? And I'm like, exactly. Cause you're not awoken. You know what I mean? In your spirit, you're just living this worldly version of ministry of church, which is not, God is changing that. It's coming as we speak. And so, but, uh, and, and you're not being fulfilled. You're not awakened. You're not, you know, feeding that soul. You know what I mean? Like, and so, yeah. Anyways, I just got to take it because it's like an hour. I think it was 45 minute drive. So I got to speak into her life and pray over her. And she left me a huge tip too. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fed her spiritually. You know what I mean? Like, and, oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful soul. And, and just awoke in her spirit. And to like, wow, there's so much more. And that's not me. Jesus did, okay? I don't get no credit. I'm dead. God is alive just using my body, okay? And so these moments I have, uh, I wish I could get one on film. And it's just the words, the way I'm speaking. I'm like, this is not who, whoa. It's powerful stuff, you know what I mean? Like Jesus spoke, you know? And so anyways, and she just, she felt so fed. In, and I mean, like she left me a tip, you know, a good tip. And so you get what I'm saying? And so this is what I'm talking about is that we, I just wanted to, to share this quick word. I was trying to keep it 20 minutes. So, but just dying to self and ask and, and stepping in by faith. Faith is something you don't see, but you step by faith by taking that first step and feeding that seed, okay? Well, like I did when 2010, when my mom died, I didn't know where I was going. I mean, I was so broken living the generational curses that were passed on, but I felt led and called because I skipped a couple of generations, right? But it didn't skip my generation. The spiritual gifts, the calling on my life, the royalty he has in my life, you know, from back in the Jesus days, did not skip my generation. I have saved it. I have uh, broken cycles. I continue breaking cycles and going higher in the spiritual realm and who God calls me to be. Um, is it, you think as, a, as you keep feeding and doing this work, it does get easier, but it's still hard. I'm not going to lie. Like, and breaking these like cycles of, you know, I want the best for my life. You know what I mean? Like, um, I deserve the best, you know? And so I walk in that, you know what I mean? It's not easy if you're breaking these old cycles, like, oh, this person or you just like say relationships or whatever. You know what I mean? Like talk about relationships. Anyways, it could be a loved one or spouse or some you're seeking or friends or, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, uh, are those people actually feeding your soul? And if they're not and they're trying to stay, again, 
they're not going the direction where you want to go and not challenge, you know, you need to release those. You know what I mean? Again, like I said, it's not easy. Like I keep elevating and growing and, um, yeah. And the, my spirit is just, you know, uh, he's, I'm evolving because I choose to evolve. I choose. That's what I'm we're called to do is to evolve and to change and to grow spiritually, you know, and, um, release what keeps no longer serving us. You know what I mean? And so, uh, that's why I just portray, you know, a lot of close ones, loved ones around you are not the best for you. You know what I mean? You have to stand alone in that relationship with God. And I know it's not easy. You know what I mean? But like, but God is going to take you to places and people and things that are actually going to keep elevating you and keep helping you. So he will, you know, put the right people, keep continuing putting the right people in your path and your soul and your loved one and your spouse. So who's called to be with you? I call the kingdom spouse. You know what I mean? Because we're called to do higher things for the world. Uh, and for the kingdom and stuff like that of heaven and stuff so i just wanted to share that that word of you know dying to self and living uh is living you know because i'm actually living you know i die to myself these things of the world which he gives you you know what i mean phone a roof over your head blah 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 but i'm not living for it you know what i'm saying like i have these things you know we need them right but i'm not like going running after them i'm running after christ and my spirit and and feeding that you know what i mean and he gives me the things I need to obtain that in, in this world and, and who I'm called to be and helping others and stuff. And so, but when you feel, feel that, you just feel like you're alive. When you're feeling that seed and spirit, you feel like you're alive. And people see it. They see it. And, they, you, and then when you more, the more you come alive, the more you see everybody's dead. You can see it. I just walk in the room. I'm like, wow, oh, these people are very spiritually dead, you know? And I'm um, just doing the emotions you know what I mean like and I'm coming more alive because I'm choosing to die to myself okay and I'm choosing to come alive and allow God to come alive inside me guys so okay Lord um anyways this is just gonna be like conversations and you know uh videos and just yeah like a relationship and so I just wanted to share that little um this little video and we just thank you lord for everything i lord i pray for these people that you choose to to lead to my channel that are looking for change are looking for to die and to awaken in the spirit christians uh believers uh, non-believers um that you would help them that you would guide them that you would speak through them as i speak in this video and that you would uh pop things up in their mind as i speak in this video that you could speak to them about in their life and so i just thank you right now for everything that i'm becoming in the spiritual realm and as you keep growing me to level and level and level you never stop learning until the day comes you can always just grow always 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 all the way you never stop learning and uh just thank you for feeding me continue feeding my spirit so i can feed others and tell you growing this power inside me lord and um like i said i want to be one of my prayers is to become like you christ and and the power you hold and, and to speak into people's souls and and their hearts and loving them and where they're at lord and so i just thank you no judge on that i just pray over them that they feel that's a relationship it's not judgment it's a relationship that uh, your heart is pure and, and wants change and he's going to help you do that and whatever that looks like in your life he's going to keep guiding you and leading you guys so um i just Say, yeah, blessings and feed the spirit. Do not feed your flesh. Ask the Lord in your own walk. And he will lead you. He, I, I started with nothing. I had no relationship with God. I had, you know what I mean? I, I, I came from a toxic uh, uh, chains. I had to break you guys. I had, you know, alcoholic and that ran, did, but it stopped with me. <laughs> and smoking and just sexual sin, like uh, just a lot of mental health, like so many different things. And I came to the Lord knowing nothing. And now I'm here involved because I chose by step by faith, whatever that looks like in your life, one step right here. Oh, okay, I'm going to go out here in this world and I'm going to pray for this person and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm feeling something inside. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm going to do this more. You know, he's going to feed you. He's going to speak to you. And like, and then along my journey, he would just reveal like Jesus was an evangelist. He went out and did what I did and he was showing me this, you know, like, and healing people and praying for them and, and feeding their spirits. And that's what I do now, you know, and now it's just come so powerful, like powerful, like, you know what I mean? Like, and, and this energy is just really powerful because I keep feeding it and it just continues to get more and more powerful um and anyway so god bless you guys it's almost 20 minutes have a great day and again blessings your way god is good and yeah just grow your grow to be your allow god to to grow you to be your higher version self god has so much for your life so much fulfillment so much life to give you so much blessings 
and you just got to feed the right spirit don't let the enemy de- allow you to sp- keep feeding your flesh where it gives you no desire no purpose you guys all right god bless you have a great day it is beautiful now i'm gonna go running ah pray for me okay blessings bye